I see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tack Grazzini racing rider Marc Marquez has received a lot of praise after winning again in the MotoGP class. It is undeniable that Marc Marquez showed a perfect performance with Grazzini racing at the Aragon GP last weekend. The rider nicknamed Baby Alien dominated the 12th series of the 2024 MotoGP by always coming out as the fastest since day one. Marquez's pace seemed unhindered when his strongest rivals such as Jorge Martin, Pramac Racing and Francesco Bagnaia Ducati struggled. Yes, using last year's version of the Ducati Desmosetasi GP, the 31-year-old rider soared over the newly repaved Aragon track. As a result, Marquez got a good time in the qualifying session to put him start from pole position. The status as pole sitter in the race at Motorland Aragon, Spain was able to be utilized well by Marc Marquez. The winner of eight world titles won the sprint race and the main race of the Aragon GP yesterday. This is Marquez's first victory in the MotoGP class after waiting for 1,043 days or since the 2021 Emilia-Romagna GP. No doubt, the feeling of joy did not only cover Marc Marquez but also the entire crew at Grazzini Racing including Nadia Padovani. As the boss or owner of Grazzini Racing, Padovani even got teary-eyed by not being able to hold back her tears with this sweet moment. And here's the full news. The dominance displayed by Marc Marquez throughout the 12th racing series of the 2024 Aragon MotoGP is proof of how a talent he has is above the human level. The Grazzini racing rider was on another level in the Aragon MotoGP racing series that took place at Motorland Aragon, Alcanese, Spain, on August 30th to September 1st, 2024. No one can keep up with Marc Marquez, including the two riders with the best performance this season, Francesco Bagnaia, Ducati Lenovo, and Jorge Martin, Prima Pramac. While Bagnaia went back and forth with bad luck, Martin could also only watch Marquez from second place despite leaving his rivals behind him. So what caused this? The answer is more than just that Aragon is an anti-clockwise circuit, a track that runs counterclockwise as it contains more left-hand corners. Marquez's advantage on left-hand circuits, which comes from his dirt track training, where the track is clay and oval-shaped to the left, is common knowledge. Marquez has also shown promising performances this season on his favorite types of circuits such as the Americas GP and the German GP but Goddess Fortuna has not been on his side for victory. It was only at Aragon that the universe finally smiled on an ambitious figure who continues to look for a way out when his career looks set to end early. At Aragon, the conditions that pushed Marquez's chances to near 100% came in the form of a questionable asphalt surface. The new asphalt of the Aragon circuit, which has undergone rejuvenation, is not yet fully ready for use so that the level of grip is below normal. Friday morning the conditions were very bad, said Michelin motorcycle racing manager, Pierre Terramasso, as reported by Gpone.com. There was no trace of rubber on the asphalt, there was dust, asphalt and oil. There were many riders who told us the track was very difficult to ride. While other riders struggled, Marquez shown to be the fastest from the first free practice to the race, minus the warm-up as he chose to relax. The difficult conditions allowed him to rely more on his skills than the power of the bike. The key word is adaptation. In 2020 veteran MotoGP journalist and former racer Matt Oxley wrote in his column in Motorsport magazine that this adaptability is Marquez's weapon. One event that amazed him occurred at the 2013 French MotoGP season, Marquez's first wet track race in the class of kings. Marquez only needed eight laps to set the fastest lap time despite eventually finishing in third place. The nickname Baby Alien became even more valid there. Marquez's run of four consecutive titles that began in 2016 and was interrupted by a severe injury came after technical changes that required more adaptability. Technical uniformity made the electronic control device ECU simpler. There was also a change in the sole tire supplier from Bridgestone to Michelin. DeMarc is so special that he races in any condition, so he races with various problems as if they don't exist, said his former Honda colleague Cal Crutchlow. Marquez repeated this phrase when reviewing the strong performance he has shown since the first day of the Aragon MotoGP series. We arrived at a circuit that was favorable for me and with perfect conditions for me, DeMarquez explained. 
The circuit has slippery asphalt, changing conditions at every corner, with little support at the front of the bike, adapting quickly is one of my strengths. At the Aragon MotoGP yesterday, fate seemed to say that it was time for Marquez to win the race again. This is because the rain that poured down on Aragon on Friday night and Sunday morning made the track conditions never the same from start to finish, according to Marquez's wishes. Marquez was so confident that he chose to relax in the garage when the other riders had a warm-up session on Sunday before the race to practice flag-to-flag -flag scenarios. I have a good feeling the sensation is easy and good. I went out on the track, without appearing to press, and the lap time was good, he told the zone after winning the sprint race. And on the other side. Grazzini racing rider Marc Marquez has been praised for taking another win in the MotoGP class. It is undeniable that Marc Marquez showed a perfect performance with Grazzini racing at the Aragon GP last weekend. The rider nicknamed Baby Alien dominated the 12th series of the 2024 MotoGP by always coming out as the fastest since day one. Marquez's pace seemed unhindered when his strongest rivals such as Jorge Martin, Pramac Racing and Francesco Bagnaia Ducati struggled. Yes, using last year's version of the Ducati Desmosetisi GP, the 31-year-old rider soared over the newly repaved Aragon track. As a result, Marquez got a good time in the qualifying session to put him start from pole position. The status as pole sitter in the race at Motorland Aragon, Spain was able to be utilized well by Marc Marquez. The winner of eight world titles won the sprint race and the main race of the Aragon GP yesterday. This is Marquez's first victory in the MotoGP class after waiting for 1,043 days or since the 2021 Emilia-Romagna GP. No doubt, the feeling of joy did not only cover Marc Marquez but also the entire crew at Grazzini Racing including Nadia Padovani. As the boss or owner of Grazzini Racing, Padovani even got teary-eyed by not being able to hold back her tears with this sweet moment. For the Italian woman, the Aragon GP was a special race weekend for Marc Marquez. Let's just say this is an extraordinary emotion, said Nadia Padovani, reported by Bolasport.com from the Motosan page. This weekend was perfect for Marc Marquez, he added. What Marquez showed during the Aragon GP has exceeded the expectations of a Nadia Padovani. With pride, Nadia Padovani said that his team had made one more history with Marquez, who is the best talent in MotoGP today. I in my opinion, it was a perfect weekend and far exceeded expectations, a Nadia explained. But it was clear that we expected Marc Marquez to win the race. He is one of the biggest talents in MotoGP history so that's clear. I would say that we have made history again with him, she added. Furthermore, this victory is also important for the Spanish rider where he can still compete at the highest level. I see her rolling up, over black Cadillac, high heel boots and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad, after her there ain't no coming back, wanna take a run at that. I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees, my imagination of her body gets the best of me. Oh god, she's such a tease, bitten lips, bruised knees, I'm addicted to her, need her touching me, cause she got a bad little waist and we tear it.